Hey, what's up? In case you didn't know, I'm O. You know, I don't usually do this, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna start making a, more of a habit of this. Uh, it's Friday and I'm calling a wrap on the week. I'm, I'm, actually it was a pretty good week, but uh, a lot of realizations this week. Right now I'm gonna call it a wrap and I'm going with this Dinkle Ocker. It's a uh, Marzen. In fact, I'm gonna be featuring uh, a few Marzens uh, in the next few weeks, just because I really enjoy Marzens, you know, the Oktoberfest beer. And um, to taste this, and actually I'm gonna have uh, a brats with it as well, but I'm going with my mug from, I don't know if you can see that, it's from Oktoberfest. This was 2018 Oktoberfest over in Oakland. So <clears throat> let's start with the pull. Oh, and also today is the day that I understand that they released Pliny the Younger. Here, here. I had some last year, the year before. Looking forward to having some more this year. Anyway, let's let's see this pour. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to clear up. Got a nice white caramel. As I look through through here, it's a German beer. Germans, um, their Marzins seem to be a lot lighter in color. Um, I wanna see what this is like. I, I, I really, uh, you know, got the malt. One of these days, I'm going to get somebody who actually knows which malt I'm smelling and, you know, share that with you, too. But as a novice, a lot of this stuff. So it looks like the head goes down relatively quickly, which is actually a pretty good sign. I'm not one for a lot of uh, a lot of head, as in I'd rather get rid of a lot of it than drink it and fill myself up because, you know, it's enjoyable. But let's see what this is all about. Hmm. Again, the carbonation is down on this. Um, not saying that's a bad thing. Um, the flavor is kind of on the weedy side, maybe a little taste of oat in there. Um, again, a lot of the German beers uh, tend to be lighter in flavor, but pack pretty good punch. So I'm going to see what this is all about, but it's, it is very good. Legs on the bottom. Let's see this. Eh, not too much. Again, on, on the lighter side, very tasty. Don't I mean, when I say very tasty, it's not a real strong flavor, but uh, a nice mild, weedy oak. I would say that's that's what I taste. I know you might taste something else, um, but I I think that like the other German beers I've had, it's it is lighter on on. Um, on, on the the flavor. I mean, uh, one of the things I really love about uh, Pliny the Younger, even though it's obviously not a Marzen, but the fact that the flavors in, in Pliny just seems like increases with every gulp. I mean, if you start tasting things, you know, and it's like, I remember the first time I had the Younger, it was the first gulp, so that was pretty good. I don't see the difference. The second one added to the first, uh, the third added to the second and so on and so forth. It just kept getting more and more flavorful as I continued. Um, this, is a, it's it's pretty good. It's it's not the best margin I've had. Um, I, I, would I get it again? Yes. Um, 
do I think I would get invited back to a party if I brought this? I, I think so. So all in all, I, I'm Dinkle Ocker. I think I'm gonna have to get some more of this someday and see what it has. And, and also I need to try it with, with the brats because I'm sure with the brats it's gonna taste a whole lot better. And that's what I'm looking forward to. But uh, getting back to why this week is a wrap is um, one of the things um, with 2020 vision comes a lot of clarity. And this has been clarity shared with uh, myself and uh, some close friends of mine too have uh, started realizing uh, some of the toxicity that's been in our atmosphere that we've allowed to exist. And a lot of it um, from places that you least expect. And I, I, and it's not that I think that people are doing it intentionally, but I, I, you know, it's, they're just unaware. So one of the things that uh, I'm looking towards uh, for the rest of the year is to start moving away from the toxic stuff and, and focus more on the things uh, about me. You know, it's all about me, all about me. For for the first time, I mean, I don't. I'm not. I'm not. I've never been all about me, and I know that I'm never going to be all about me. But it feels good to say it at least today. Uh, I'm going to focus more on me and um, uh, a little more protective of myself. Uh, when you are a giving person you tend to give to the wrong people sometimes, or you give to the right people who don't know how to accept it or reciprocate or don't know how to act, I'll leave it at that. And uh, a friend I was talking to was going through the same situation with uh, one of her BFFs. And <clears throat> as we started looking at it, you know, I was like, that's not much of a BFF if that's the way they talk to you. So. I guess this this uh, message for me, for anybody out there, you know, it's like, you know, consider uh, your circle because uh, sometimes there's somebody in the circle that seems like they're on your side. But if you if you listen to them, a lot of times it's it's more about them and they will get. Um, they they want to how, how is it put? Uh, it's, it's about channel them and if you try to change the channel from channel them they'll complain about the channel you're changing it to and flip it back to channels uh channel them and that seems to be uh kind of prevalent uh in the country uh nowadays so i don't know i don't want to tell you uh bring more clarity 2020 vision and you know that's a wrap for the week i'm going back to my dinkle ocker you have a good time Peace. Have a great weekend.